very even printing. Look at that. And I really like that it tells me the percentage so I know exactly when to expect this to be done. There's some serious filling action going on right now. And it's finished. Hey everybody, I got this Anet A8 model 3D printer kit for, from Amazon. Um, and right now I'm printing my first print and it's going really nicely so far. Um, this is a kit, this is something that you have to attach piece by piece, but the plus side of that is you're gonna know how to fix every little thing about this 3D printer. And you're gonna learn a lot about 3D printers in general and how they work. Uh, so every little piece was hand put together. Um, so if anything goes wrong, I know how to fix it. Um, all it is is building this frame, really, and then you just gotta attach these, uh, you know, the Z, X, Y axes, um, putting this uh, motor and extruder head together, this bed, uh, and these belts. Um, of course, you also have to attach the power supply, which is only a few wires, and then this uh, main motherboard right here. And this is the spindle that holds the filament. So you can see everything is going pretty smoothly. It took some time to perfect it, but that's the joy of working with 3D printer kits. Uh, most kits, uh, most 3D printers are sold as kits online, um, especially at this price point. So um, definitely check this out on Amazon. As you can see, mine is printing pretty well. I'm well on my way to printing a Baymax figure. Uh, however, I may run out of filament, so uh, you know, one tip I can give to you guys is if you're not doing a test print like myself to make sure you buy a reel uh, of uh, uh, filament. Um, looking back, it wasn't easy to assemble, but it wasn't that difficult as well as long as you have some patience. And you're willing to go back and like retrace some of your steps to see where you went wrong. So for example, like I had a problem with this uh, rod right here. It wasn't going very smoothly. so. I kept adjusting it down there, but I really had to make an adjustment over here instead. Um, and to get this filament in, um, what I had to do was heat up the extruder to 190 degrees. And, and up here, I had to preheat the filament. And afterwards, you just push this down and then put your filament in and then it'll start working. So overall, this is a very rewarding experience and I'm looking forward to my first print. Uh, 3D printers are pretty slow, um, so it does take a lot of time. I'm talking like many, many hours to two days to print something depending on the size and, and how you fill it um, inside. Um, but look, at, look how straight those lines look. It's just working, it's magic. And I, what I really like about this kit is they, are, they made the heat bed so that stuff sticks. I have another 3D printer at home and that one came with just a glass surface and that was really hard. It was really hard in the beginning to get the, the filament to stick onto the board, um, the, the bed for my 3D printers, uh, my 3D prints to work. Uh, but this one came pre-taped and it's just a little uh, something on the surface to help the filament stick. Um, so that was a, uh, you know, that saved me a ton of time. But anyways, check it out. Um, you know, the, you know, the build quality is really up to you and how you do it. But, you know, I took my time. It took me, um, you know, just over a day to put this together. But I feel like I have a really solid machine now. All right. Again, this is the Anet A8 printer. Check it out on Amazon. See you next time.